Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. I would like to start this video by saying that I know my smoothie looked like gross black sludge. It actually looks a little bit more green now, um, but that's just what happens when you blend blueberries with greens. So don't knock it till you try it. It's one of those taste, or not taste bad, <laughs> taste good but looks bad kind of creations. I promise it's good, okay? Today I'm going to be showing you everything I eat in a day as a vegan. Uh, but before I get into the rest of the video, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. So at this moment in time, when I'm posting this video, uh, the previous week I didn't post any videos to participate in the Amplify Melanated Voices campaign, which was created by two women on Instagram, two black women on Instagram. I will link their Instagram handles below. I mentioned it in a comment on the community tab and it was basically to participate in this movement in order to be a better ally to the Black Lives Matter movement, which is something that is very important right now in today's political climate. I know if you're watching this video in the future, like a few weeks or months from now, this might not be relevant, um, but my videos are the main way that I communicate with you guys. And I know a lot of you are going to watch this in the first few days, maybe a week of me posting it. So that's why I want to include it in a video rather than a written out post because I know some of you guys might not see that. So this past week, I paused all of my regular content on my YouTube channel, my blog, and my Instagram page. And I really spent the week educating myself on racism that's in our country and the Black Lives Matter movement and just doing some hard um, inner self work about how I have been ignorant but also not really ignorant about these issues because I knew about them but I guess I was comfortable with my white privilege and I just never spoke out about them and at the end of this day this channel is a food channel so I don't actively post um, about a lot of politics or political issues on this channel but I still feel like this is important to mention um, because food is inherently political, whether you want to admit it or not. People's food access, their cultural foods, and the foods that they gravitate towards is all related to politics. And depending on what area you live in, you're going to have access to certain foods. It's a huge topic and I'm not an expert on it, um, but I highly encourage you to do the work yourself. Do a Google search, uh, look through some few articles, few links. I'll post a few links or accounts that I find helpful. Um, below and also as a vegan I know not all of you who watch my videos are vegan but as a vegan I am concerned about the ethical welfare of animals and humans are animals too and I think a lot of vegans tend to only focus on animals but I think if I really am honest with myself and I want to contribute to a just and fair society that includes human lives as well so no, I don't agree with all of the vegans who are very uh, forceful with their opinions or who put other people down. I think that the ability of someone to go vegan isn't solely based on whether or not they've seen factory farm footage. Some people can't afford to go vegan. Some people don't have access to vegan food depending on where they live. It's a lot more complicated than just saying, look, I can buy some rice and beans and it's really cheap, so you should go vegan. I think a lot of vegans don't acknowledge this and I'm not here to call anyone out. I'm just saying it's something that I am aware of and that I acknowledge and it's been really eye-opening to see my fellow content creators and even some of my friends um, on social media who have remained silent on this issue um, and just chose to not post any content at all. Uh, because they knew they would get, for lack of a better word, shit on if they continue to post the regular food content. I know everyone does their activism in different ways, but I feel like as someone who has a platform and who has quote unquote influence, you guys are just willing to listen to me. I really don't like the word influence. Like I'm not some weird dictator trying to like impose weird ideas on you. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But anyways, I feel like it is my responsibility as someone who is interested in ethical issues and justice and welfare um, for all living beings to speak up on this issue. Yes, all lives matter and all humans 
and also animals are worthy of fair treatment. But in this situation, we're talking about black lives specifically. And by saying that black lives matter, it doesn't mean we're not saying animal lives matter. It doesn't mean we're not saying your life doesn't matter. We're just saying that this is an issue that has been going on in America for hundreds of years that needs to be talked about and that black people deserve fair and just treatment. That's it. Again, I'm not an expert on any of this. I admit that I am rambling right now. So I'm going to link some of my favorite black educators in the comments below or in the description below if you want to learn more about it. I also just wanted to let you guys know that as a business, I have released a statement on the actions I will be taking moving forward. Um, I posted it on Instagram. I don't want to go through it here because I do want to keep this rel relatively um, short. So that's all I have to say for now. Um, I'm going to get back to the food content. But I do want to acknowledge that everyone is entitled to their own educated opinion. And I believe educated is a key word here. Um, in order to have an opinion, you can't just base it off of one source or what your parents say, or honestly, even what you've been taught in school. You need to be actively researching your opinion on these matters, especially for really important matters like this, even veganism. Like, you need to do the work and realize that there are two sides and there are gonna be two opinions to every story or movement or whatever. And some of them are going to be more based in fact, some of them are going to be more based in opinion or distort facts. And it's up to you to decide what you wanna believe in. So at the end of the day, if you disagree with anything I said so strongly that you wanna unfollow me, you have every right to, but you don't need to leave a hateful comment telling me um, why you're unfollowing me. You can just do it and go politely um, you can still disagree with what I'm saying and still watch and appreciate my content for the food aspect. That is up to you, but I still want to be very clear on where I stand and what I'm choosing to support um, moving on. So I know this wasn't a short ramble and it was a long ramble, but I think everything that I uh, stated needs to be said, but now we'll get back on to the food and let's eat some lunch. So today's lunch is going to be a great example of how sometimes I just eat random stuff and not all of my meals are perfect instagram a bowl of spreads. Oftentimes when I'm not in the kitchen, I just throw a bunch of random stuff together and that's what we're gonna have today. So we had some lentils for dinner last night. These are brown lentils. Um, I just cooked them with some like very basic seasonings like garlic. So they're pretty neutral in flavor. This is a good start, but unfortunately I need to cook lunch for me and Dylan and it's not enough for both of us. So I apologize. I'm going to mix them with a can of soup and I don't have very many options because I don't have time to cook beans. I don't really want to cook some tofu or tempeh. It's going to be too much, but like combined, this will be good. So I have a golden lentil Indian doll and I want to say this is totally not traditional. This is probably sacrilege. And I'm sorry, but I need to eat. So I'm gonna mix the red lentils with the brown lentils. And then I think I'm gonna cook some brown rice on the side um, for some healthy carbs. And then we also have this uh, purple cauliflower. We had the other half of it for dinner last night and I already roughly chopped it and washed it. So that's easy. I'm just gonna stick this in the air fryer uh, with just a little bit of salt. So it gets uh, kind of semi crispy. Um, so I'm gonna cook that. Simmer the lentils in the soup, cook the rice, maybe add some cilantro on top. I'll show you what the end product looks like. I don't really have much faith in myself right now. I think this is gonna look really weird. So actually this came out looking way better than expected. The brown lentils just sort of took over and made everything brown. Um, if you didn't know what was in it, I feel like it would look pretty appetizing. I mean, it's, it's actually good anyways. Um, but we just have our rice, our soup mixture, some cilantro and some cauliflower. Now we're going to dig in. Hello. So we are now making dinner. It's obviously been a while. Um, Dylan and I split a kombucha earlier. This is another one we have of the same flavor. If you guys haven't tried this, I really recommend it. It's blue, which is cool. And the bottle has a cool pattern and it just tastes good. So yeah, I'd recommend this. Um, so now we're making dinner. I'm heating up some hot water, which is what you can hear right now. We didn't really know what to make, and when we don't know what to make, we usually just resort to stir fry. So we're just making a very easy stir fry. I was actually gonna make my vegan sesame chicken for my blog, but I realized I don't have any more toasted sesame oil. So now I'm just making a regular stir fry. But I'll show you what's going on. 
Um, I just prepped all the veggies I'm about to start cooking and we're making some white rice on the side. So these are all of the veggies that we're gonna be using. We got some mushrooms, broccoli, the last carrot in our fridge, garlic, ginger, and green onions. I just separated the more white parts and the green parts. And then for our protein source, we're going to be using soy curls. I have half a bag left. A few of you have asked me questions about where to get soy curls. Um, I live near Portland, Oregon, which is actually where they were sort of created. So it's very easy for me to find them in most grocery stores actually. Um, but outside of this area, they're hard to find and I usually just recommend getting them online. So this is what they look like. They're made from dehydrated uh, soy beans. The only ingredient is soy. You just have to rehydrate them in hot water first before you cook with them. And then for my sauce, I'm going to use a combination of some tamari, some cornstarch to thicken it. I just haven't gotten it out yet. This vegan chicken flavored broth, which I actually do not like. Um, I much prefer the better than bouillon one. That's more of a paste. This is a powder. And then instead of maple syrup, I'm going to use this hoisin sauce that we have in our fridge. Okay, so here is our finished bowls. We got our rice, our soy curls, our veggies. I topped it with the sliced green parts of the green onion and some sesame seeds. Got my bowl, Dylan's bowl, and then we're going to top them off with a little more chili oil. This is what I use to fry the onion, garlic, and ginger in. And then some tamari. And that is it for dinner. We love stir fry because it's quick and easy. You can add a ton of veggies. It's pretty easy to customize the sauce too. And it works with soy curls, tofu, tempeh, or even other like vegan mock meats. And we love eating white rice because uh, it only takes 15 minutes to cook and you don't have to wait for 45 minutes. So yeah. So we ate dinner and Lily's caught along with me and I didn't want to get up. So Dylan kindly offered to film me while I was still on our messy couch. You're welcome. Um, so I guess I'm gonna end the video here. I think I'm gonna have, there's Maya. I think I'm gonna have an apple with some peanut butter and maybe some chocolate chips for dessert. Yum. And that's it. More water too. Good night. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, adopt a dog, they're the best. Adopt, don't shop. <laughs>